All right, how's it going? Uh, I just saw a meme on Facebook, and it made me think. What it said was that in the current times we are living in, the devil, the devil is no longer hiding. He is right there in plain view. And I would agree with that because As times are going on, it keeps getting crazier every day. <laughs> just, and some of it is the most stupid stuff. I mean, I grew up in a time in the 60s and 70s, and one of the favorite things as a kid growing up was Saturday morning cartoons. And of course, that is with Looney Tunes. And one of the favorite characters of all is Elmer Fudd, which for the most part he is portrayed as a hunter. Now, there's other times when they show him in other circumstances when he's not hunting. His character, what he is, he's primarily a hunter. And so, the main character he's most teamed up with is Bugs Bunny, because he's hunting rabbits, or as he says, rabbits. Now, every once in a while, you know, it'll be him and Daffy. Most of the time, he's going after Bugs, because... That's what hunters do, they go have the game. And the fun is that is that bugs always with little tricks and disguises and stuff always has a way of getting the best of bugs. I mean bug I mean um, bugs has a way of getting the best of Elmer. I mean they even did one episode where Elmer was just, he was going to give up hunting because he just couldn't take it anymore because the way Bugs was always getting the best of him. And he decided to take up fishing instead, and he has this bad dream which Bugs inspired, which makes him go back to hunting. And, you know, we grew up okay. I mean, we're not, I mean, a lot of people who watch that don't hunt. I mean, I don't hunt, but, you know, I mean, my, some of my family have, and it's not a big deal. And so somebody on the far, far left decided it was offensive for Elmer Fudd a hunter to have his gun. So they're taking away his gun from him. He's a hunter. What are they going to have him do? Picking posies? I mean, what kind of conflict is that between him and Bugs? Oh, you're picking my posies. It makes no sense. And then you get the more serious things, which is with the whole George Floyd thing, because it's gone way beyond the protest thing, because it is kind of weird that, granted, everybody knows what happened to him was wrong and how it was done. When he was arrested, they should have just took him straight to jail, period. And I, I don't think most people would debate that. But the fact that we're in the middle of a health crisis, you know, 
we have loved ones in the hospital we're not allowed to go see them not to mention our kids have can't go to graduation they didn't have their problems and we've had loved ones who have passed away and we cannot have a funeral for them but yeah because this guy has been so much in the news he not only had one, but they had three funerals for him, each with a different coffin. I mean, what is with that? And it just does not make sense. And I, I debate some of these people on Facebook sometimes, and if people who they're not my friend, but I go on another friend's page and I leave a comment and then somebody from their friends with challenges me and this one gentleman tried to tell me that he's doing this whole white privilege thing. He says, well, he grew up, you know, when he, when he was in elementary school, he was like one or three white kids and everybody else was black. I said, that's fine. But, because the post he was showing was about white privilege. I said, look, I don't know what you're talking about, white privilege. I mean, my family was far from rich. My brother and I grew up in foster care. You know, everything we ever made from our lives, and my brother did better than myself, you know, I'm still, we jump from working hard. And of course he chooses to debate me and says, well you just don't understand that a lot of black people have gone through this, this, and this. And <laughs> I try to give him some, uh, a quote from Morgan Freeman, which I saw, which basically said that, and this is from him, he's, where he goes, if you, I'll stop calling you a white man if you stop calling me a black man. And basically, you know, playing, you know, you're just a man. That's all we are. We're men. We're human beings. That's how we should view each other. And for some reason, Facebook would not show that. So I found a video, which I attached. And basically what was, it was a quick, less than a minute video, where Morgan Freeman was being debated, being interviewed by Dan Rather. And Dan was asking him what he thought about Black History Month. And Morgan Freeman, a black man, an African-American male, said that he thought it was ridiculous. I mean, limiting that part of history to one month. He said, it's just history. It's all, everything, it's all American history. He, he asked Dan Rather, he says, what are you? And he says, well, I'm Jewish. He said, do you want a, a Jewish history month? And he said, no. And Morgan Freeman said, it's all just history. And so, at the very end of it, Dan Rather asked him, well, how do we stop racism? And Morgan Freeman's answer was, stop talking about it. That's it. If the news would quit splashing the stuff across the TV 24-7, you know what I'm saying? All it does is stir up stuff. Just like every post you see on social media, which is different than what you believe, it stirs up stuff. Now, getting back to my original point 
which was the devil's all around us right now. He's in plain view and he's not hiding. He is making everything going on. And so in a lot of people feeling that, if you look what's going on, you can see the signs that Christ gave us before he ascended up into heaven. And a lot of these things are coming to pass, so, I mean, if this is what it is, I'm all for it. I mean, I mean come on, hurry back, Jesus, that's great. <laughs> but see, I wanna, what I want to do is, I want to clear up a misconception. And that, there's a lot of people, and a lot of well-intending people, who feel that the devil is the yin to God's yang, you know, because it says the balance of good and evil. So we know that God is the ruler of heaven, so people think that the devil is the ruler of hell. And you'll see that quite portrayed in a lot of movies. And the answer is no. That's not it. <laughs> I mean, because the Bible clearly states that hell was created for the devil and his demons. And for all those who are not in Christ, they will go there. But they're not going to be ruling in hell. They're going to be tormented in hell. I mean, all because After his creation, the devil got cocky because he looked how God was doing things and thought, hmm, I can do better. But no, the devil is not the ruler of hell. He's just trying to take as many of us out as he can before the big time comes. Because after Christ comes back, the devil is going to be chained up and put in the bottomless pit for a thousand years, and then he'll come back and the Bible says he'll be let loose for a little while. Doesn't say how long, but I don't think it's going to be very, very long. Because he's going to give one less chance to tempt the inhabitants of earth, those who had not been saved, which would be the children of those who had been saved. And then once he has that chance, boom, he's going to hell. And it's not going to be pretty. He's not going to be ruling there with his little pitchfork and all his little demon buddies. So, the only good thing I can see out of all the chaos that's going on if we're getting closer to the time of Christ's return. I mean, that could be a hundred years from now, but the way things are going, I don't think it's going to be that long. I'm no prophet. I don't claim to be. I'm just, everything in my heart, soul, and mind is telling me this is what is going on. And if you choose not to believe that, so be it. But uh, I just saw that meme and just popped into my head. I wanted to clear this up. There's just another old man rambling some more. So that's my two cents worth. Take it as you will. <laughs>